Previously on Persona 5. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you are willing to bear everything to me. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. You actually do want to draw a naked. Oh, that ain't happening, bro. And now back to sticking it to the man. Hello. The Sneak of B. Back with some more Persona 5. We last left off, we dived further into uh, Matarame's palace, and we also talked some with Yusuke, and pretty much reached the conclusion that the only way to save the world and steal Matarame's heart is for An to get freaking naked. It's the only way, and I'm just totally disgusted by this. There's just, ah, ah, horrible. Just, just horrible. Is there no justice in this world? Oh God, I, I don't really know what's gonna happen. I, like you guys said, I mean, really, in reality, the, you're right. There's nothing really lewd about this. It's, I mean, artists do it all the time. And, and as long as the the model isn't uncomfortable about it, you know, I don't think the artist isn't really gonna care either. Now, I'm not an artist by any means, but I, I do know that, you know, understanding the human anatomy is, you know, especially, if, I mean, assuming you're drawing mainly people is uh, a very important part to being an artist. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I, and it's apparent, and it's a lot easier to do it if there's no clothes on to like get in the way you know but anyway so we've returned we've returned from Matarami's palace for today and we essentially can't proceed any further until we've unlocked that door in his house and I guess he has to see us unlock it or can we just unlock it without him seeing it then come back and he'll see the door open and be like what the fuck who the dicks opened my door but it's got some nasty ass porn in there first I'm, I'm gonna play crossword puzzle no stupid you're tired go to sleep I'm not tired Magana stop telling me how I feel fine must be tired. Do I look tired to you? I don't care. I don't care. I look forward to seeing the like. Do you believe in the fantasies go up slowly as we do this shit? It's like ah yes, good. Believe, believe in the picky penguins. Well then, Lady Anna and I will head over to Monorame's house. But I want to go study the data. We'll be counting on you. On Morgana, we're counting on you. Me and Nico bans from going there, so all we can do is wait here. Hey, it's raining today too, damn it! No, you two have something different you'll need to do. What? Uh, what do you mean? You have to wait inside the palace. Once the door opens, sneak in and look for some kind of control room. Oh, okay. We need to make sure the door can't close anymore after it's open. Okay. Oh, I get it. Okay, you can leave that to us. Damn, all right, but... <laughs> Probably should avoid the monsters then, cause I mean, we're diesel, but to think you'd really come. I assumed you were lying when you contacted me. But I don't think the two of us can handle the, the enemies in there. I'm sorry it was so sudden. Oh, it's not a problem. But as I told you yesterday, Sensei will be returning in about twenty or thirty minutes. So, um I'm sorry if that causes some anxiety on your part. That's why I'm here today, damn it. <laughs> What was that? Oh, no! It was nothing! By the way... Have you gained some weight? <laughs> so, I weigh the same as always. Maybe I'm bloated. <laughs> Fucking golden. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. That is so funny. Fuck, that is funny. So in order to draw out this process, she's layered clothes upon clothes upon clothes over herself. <laughs> Damn girl, you looking thick today, girl. <laughs> oh my god. That's so funny. I like I like how oblivious you just is too. So then, can you um Get ready here? Sure, just let me take my shirts off. Want me to do it sexy for you? Da -da 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 -da. 18 hours later. I need to take my clothes off, right? Oh my gosh, she's gotta be cooking in that too. Yes, please. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Uh, could you look the other way? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh my <laughs> goodness! <sighs> that was tight. Tight? <laughs> no, I'm doing this for art. 
<laughs> okay, some of you guys are saying like, it's like, use case not at all interested in odds. What the fuck you call this? He's like, uh, mm, tight. Don't look over here, okay? I don't understand. I'm gonna see you naked at some point, right? Hey, your sensei is coming back soon, right? I believe so. Hmm. Do you think we could do this somewhere else then? A little more atmosphere would be lovely. This should be good enough. But wouldn't a room with a lock be a bit better? <laughs> wow. Wow, on. Wow. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. No, I, I see what she's saying. First, I was like, what the she, she means a room that can be locked. I guess this room can't get locked. So we have to unlock the other room. A lock? <laughs> Must a girl say more? I kind of assumed that all the rooms in the house would have locks in them, but but I guess Madarame is like, fuck you, you scared? I don't give a shit about your privacy. Ha! Uh, ah! <laughs> My God! But the only one with a lock is Sensei's room. Then why not there? I can't intrude. Besides, I don't have the key. <sighs> he says he doesn't have the key. It's okay. That's why I'm here. I'll just use this hairpin. Um, is there a cat in the room? Uh, no, no, that's just, uh, my pussy talking? What? Pussy cat. Takamaki-san, are you about... <laughs> you were wearing all this? <laughs> Almost there! Oh, wow, okay, she got... Damn, she, she fast. <laughs> that was a lot of layers of clothes. Don't you think it's cool today? <laughs> <laughs> For God's sakes, Morgana, go over there! What are you doing? I suppose so. The sun is starting to set. Right? <laughs> That's why a change of location would be nice. Right? Yeah? I mean, I'm gonna take it all off. <laughs> True. <laughs> yes, that is the that is the plan. Hmm. Might make for a better picture if I can brighten my model's mood. Uh huh. That's right. She may even be willing to try out various expressive poses for use in a dynamic composition. Yes. Legs spread wide open. I feel kind of bad for Yusuke though. You know, like, I mean, he really like feels like we're gonna do this shit, and then what are we gonna do? They'd be like, oh, never mind. Radeon, you have to act. Get back in character. Get on your knees and tell me you love me. <clears throat> Let's go. I was just starting to get in the mood. <laughs> ah, this isn't meant to be sexual. Wait, if you wander around, Sensei will... Oh, it's so hot. Oh, yeah. We really can't use any other room. <laughs> hey, why not this one? Please wait. Follow the clothes. Come on, you Mona. Just to be going, just go like slowly go and rent every room of the house or something. Are they seriously gonna be able to pull this off? Nah, probably not. It won't be you, Jadley. I let my guy on my camera. That little furball better come through for me. She was saying stuff like, I'll just seduce him with my acting, but that sounds out of her league. Yeah, she's kind of a Plus, goofball. Plus, we ain't got one sign this place is gonna open. Isn't Matarame coming home soon? You know, I feel like I could just like, maybe hop over the red thing. Or maybe even limbo under it. I mean, look at that, it's a nice little gap under there. On top of that, even if Mona's able to unlock the door, how's he gonna show it to Matarame? And then even if they do show it open, any normal person would just close it right up again. Man, stop asking questions! Just accept it! Doesn't that mean we only got a few seconds to get in? To be blunt, won't it be a miracle if this works? It'll definitely work. Just wait and see. Yeah, sounds almost impossible. Just wait and see, man. Yeah. It's almost time. <laughs> chase me, you skate! Chase me! Please, uh, can you just wait and... Oh, okay, well, she's... I'm getting there, almost! What's past here? That's... Uh, 
So the door Mona mentioned is up ahead. I keep telling you, you can't! <laughs> oh, I feel, I feel kind of bad for it. You're still not done? <laughs> it's hard to do this with cat paws. You have cat paws all the time! You're in your human form! Uh, is something the matter? Oh, um... So, what is this room? It's a storage area for old paintings. Storage? Hey, Kitagawa-kun. Why don't we do it in here? <laughs> yeah. I won't be embarrassed if we go somewhere nobody can find us. Only Sensei can go in there. Please. I want to be <laughs> alone with you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> On. Uh, not trying to seduce the man. Quiet. You know, where we won't get interrupted. Yeah. Is he really going to buy that terrible act? <laughs> yes! Stay focused. Hmm? Oh, it's just so frustrating that my feelings aren't getting through to you. Kitagawa kun, do you not like girls like me? <laughs> no, th that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, so like, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> How is that working on him? <laughs> Please, we can continue this inside. I'm not experienced in the ways of women. Only sure. men. Sure. I mean, no, we can't go in there. Uh, it's locked anyway, so... Fine. This is too embarrassing. I'm leaving. <laughs> but... Let's just do it in here, okay? What do I do? <laughs> oh. I'm home. Oh, damn it. You scared did you manage to score with that weird chick? S sensei Ah, well, you're almost there, like, in second base, right? Yusuke? All right, it's open. Oh boy. Huh? <laughs> what? Yusuke, what did you do? Uh-oh. What are you doing there? It's it's not what it looks like. Oh. What? Not in there. <laughs> Start making out. Come on. Uh, nothing's happening. I wonder what's. Hmm? Oh, here we go. Rawr! It's off. They seriously did it. Shut up and run, Ryuji. They're amazing. Yeah, for real. Let's go. That means I'm naked. All right, boy, let's do this. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just take my sweet time. Yes. Just make sure there's no treasure out here. Okay, go. All right. Treasure hall lounge. Okay, let's find the control room quick. Path's gonna close up if we dick around for too long. But it's just gonna be me and you for a bit if we run into any enemies. Good? Man, let's kick some tail. Yeah, we count on you. <laughs> like that guy right there. Disable security system. Look at the control room. Okay, that guy is staring right at me. Okay, careful. Can I, uh... <laughs> no. Damn it, already? Hey, what do you want to do? We have to beat it. Uh, wait for it to leave. No, if it would leave. But don't get time, you know? I think we just gotta go for it. <laughs> I was thinking maybe, like, turn around at some point. Problem's the fact we gotta handle this with just the two of us. Anyway, I'll leave the th timing up to you, dude. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just. Sorry. Yo, gonna let us through right now. Huh? Who are you? I see that you're tired. You must be a thief who dare threaten Lord Madarame. Yep. Ah. What in the fuck is that? 
It's a liger. They got past the security system? You cannot go any further. You are trespassing on Lord Matarame's territory. You guys ain't got nothing on us. I'm more scared of screwing up and having on yell at me. Nit. I know, right? Let's go. Let's go. All right. Let's uh. Let's go and decrease your defense. Oh boy. What? Ow. Uh -huh. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. No, he threw away an extra. Okay, exorcism water. Don't throw away. Shit. Ah. Uh, I think cure confuse. Oh, and confuse. Yeah, here we go. Relax, Joe. Yeah. Don't please don't do it again. Yes, resist. Oh, that that's right. Actually, I think I, I think Airbarion actually has resist confuse. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can lightning. Yep. Persona. You're mine. You're mine. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. What talk? Yeah, you want to be friends? No, Let's fuck go. you! Together, Ryuji! Woo! And strike a pose with the camera. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at Morgana. Oh, I'm missing out on this experience of money. I got 39 whole dollars. Whew. <sighs> Things are real tough when it's just you and me. Be a pain in the ass if we got spotted again. Anyways, turn off the security system. Takamaki-san, this is bad. Are these the lights? Uh-oh, uh -oh, yep. And there it is, that fucking painting. What the... Isn't this Sayuri? Why are there so many of them? I have no idea. Now Yusuke's gonna realize how truly shit he is. Get out! Sensei, what is the meaning of this? I suppose I can't keep quiet now that you've seen this. Truth be told, I'm in severe debt. I handmade these Sayuri copies and have been selling them through a special connection of mine. But why? The real Sayuri was stolen by one of my pupils long ago. I assume they begrudged my strictness. <laughs> you can see, you can see the look on his face that he's just like totally full of shit. That moment was quite a shock for me. Since then, I've been mired in a terrible artist block. Because of this distress, some of my pupils handed their ideas over to me from time to time. Uh. I knew I couldn't keep that up, so I attempted to recreate the Sayuri a number of times. However, it resulted in nothing more than replicas. That's when someone came to buy the paintings, knowing well they weren't original. It's all my fault. I couldn't pay the price of being famous. You know, I mean, that said, I mean, aside from this freaking expression there, he's actually building a pretty good lie. As expectations for me rose, it reached a point where I had no choice but to keep making them. I needed money to further your talents. I ask that you Please forgive your cowardly teacher. Please, don't. Hold on. Something doesn't add up. Oh, here we go. Odds on this shit. If the original painting got stolen, how did you make copies of it? I happened to find a finely detailed photograph of it in an art book. I photocopied them all. So you managed to sell copies of a photo of the original? I'm not sure how this works, but don't people who buy paintings generally have a keen eye for the fine arts? Mm, this sounds like a lie to me. What would you know? Something just doesn't feel right. Lady On, this one seems different. Oh. Sayuri. There it is, the original. You just got caught alive, old man. This is the real Sayuri. But you just said a moment ago that it was stolen. That's a replica. Oh god, now that nasty stink face comes out. No, it's nothing of the sort. This painting kept me going. It's the reason I made it this far. 
Sensei, don't tell me. It's fake. Yes, a counterfeit. I heard there was a counterfeit spreading around, so I bought it. So you're telling me the actual artist behind the painting bought a counterfeit? That's pushing it. Yeah, you're so full of shit, old man. You're lying, Sensei. Please, just tell us the truth. You too? I've reported you to my private security company. What? I had it set up to deal with some problematic paparazzi, but I never thought it'd come in so handy. Please, wait. Let's talk about this. You can talk all you want to the police. That includes you, Yusuke. Lady on, let's run! A cat? Where did it... <laughs> it jumps around his face. Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, it's closer in my eye holes! It's closer in my eye holes! There's no point. They'll be here within two minutes. Takamaki-san! Run, Yusuke! Run, run, run! Yeah, let's go! Well, let's hurry up and get that shit shut off. Alright. But first. Oh, wait. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Alright. Oh, yeah, it's the room. So, which one's for the security? Probably the only computer that's on in here. Disengaging security protocol. Sweet! Now the lasers in the courtyard should be off for good. Well, that's mission complete. Come on, let's get out of here. Run! Uh, hey, who's there? Whoa! Crap, let's so go run for it. That's a gross, a big ass golden statue of that weird man. Oh, good. All right. All right, looks like the security's totally off. Let's get back and meet up with the others. I hope those two managed to get away. No! Oh. Oh, hello. How the fuck did you guys get in here? Wow, nice catch there, Yusuke. <laughs> Oh, she to escape the police. She opened her app, and Yusuke was nearby. I thought I was gonna die. Uh, hey, uh, will you let go already? What? I caught you. I'm your hero. <laughs> Poor <laughs> Yusuke, like, what the fuck? Come on, I'll be nice. We just smelled it like butt fuck nowhere. He's like, the shit is this. Oh no, I didn't mean to push him so hard. Are you okay? Wake up. Well, he's dead. That would kill somebody. Who are you all? I'm a phantom thief. Look up, look up, look up. Ah! Uh, calm down, Kitagawa kun. It's me. Kamaki san. That means you two are. Yep, so those other two I losers. I don't recall ever seeing this cat costume before, though. He's like, my muse is back! What is this place? We are inside Matarame's heart. Inside Sensei's heart? I'm sorry, Takamaki san, but are you sure you're feeling okay? She ain't lying. This is what that bastard truly feels. Nothing but a greed-filled money grubber. Enough of this rubbish! Kitagawa-kun, didn't it cross your mind that something wasn't right about Matarame? <sighs> That's... Uh... You may not want to believe it, but this is another reality as viewed through Matarame's eyes. This is his true nature. This repulsive world? I don't know, I think it's kinda nifty looking. Just who are all of you? I guess you could say we're a group that changes the hearts of rotten crooks. A Batman. If everything you say is true, then the sensei I know doesn't exist. You gotta snap out of it. Still, he has kept me safe these past ten years. My gratitude for that won't just disappear. You're gonna forgive him? At this rate, you'll... 
Are you okay? I'm trying to be rational about this, but my emotions are overwhelming me. Sorry, but we don't have time to dawdle. The security level's gone through the roof. We need to get out of here at once! Here, lay on my shoulder, bro. I got you. No, it's all right. No, I got you, Matthew Mercer. All right. I love you. <laughs> uh, I feel so bad for you, Skay. Yes. We need to hurry out of here. That said, we have an amateur with us now. Let's try to avoid fighting as much as possible. Oh yeah, okay, he is actually just like standing here with us. I'm guessing I probably won't be able to just run out with the safe room here. How could this be? So, this is inside of Sensei's heart, a vain museum such as this. Actually, yeah, that's where we're gonna pass probably by your picture too. Uh, this painting. Do you recognize it? We were thinking these might be his past pupils or something. But why are there paintings of them here? Technically, those aren't actually paintings. They're the pupils themselves. <laughs> Madarame saw them as objects, so that's what they are in here. Oh, and uh, we found yours, too. We'll talk more later. For now, let's get out of here. Run, run, run! Ah, shit. The exit is right there! <laughs> oh, ah! Who is it? What the? Holy golden gaudiness! What in the fuck? What is that on your head? <laughs> Talk about bullshit clothes. First a king, now some kind of shogun. Welcome to the Museum of the Master Artist, Madarame! Ooh, nice, <laughs> nice lipstick, bro. Huh? Sensei? Is that you? That... attire? Disgusting! This... this is all one big lie, isn't it? My usual ragged attire is nothing but an act. Besides a famous person living in that shack, I have another home. Under a mistress's name, of course. It's absurd. Some senator got here. I'm almost impressed. Fuck you. <laughs> How naive. If the Sayuri was stolen, why was it in the storage room? And if you had the real one, why make copies? If it's really you, Sensei, please tell me. Foolish child, you still don't see? Painting being stolen was just a false rumor I spread. It was all a perfectly calculated staging. What do you mean? Let me see. How does this sound? I found the real painting, but it can't go public. You can have it for a special price, though. Ha <laughs> ha! How's that for preferential treatment? Art snobs will eat it up and pay good cash at that. I see. I see. So I sell all those replicas and claiming it's the real thing. And they're going to be like, oh my god. And of course, as the original supposed artist of this, right? They're not going to doubt him. No. The worth of art is purely subjective. Thus, this is a legitimate business transaction. No, they're actually... That, there is a good bit of truth in that. The worth of art is pretty subjective, you know? Who and who does it can also... Is really like... A lot of times, what what amounts to that worth, you know? You could have a random slub do the exact same painting as Picasso, but it still wouldn't sell as much if it wasn't done exactly by Picasso. So it's like once you've made a name for yourself, then you live in you live in infamy, right? You leave a legacy behind, and then eventually everybody just wants a piece of that action. Though I doubt a brat like you would ever come up with such a brilliant scheme. You keep going on and on about money, this money, that. No wonder you ended up with this disgusting museum. I can't tell if this guy's envy or greed. You're supposed to be an artist, right? Aren't you ashamed of plagiarizing other people's work? 
Art is nothing but a tool. A tool to gain money and fame! You helped me greatly as well, Yusuke. God, it pisses me off. That's your teacher. But what about the people who believe in you? Who think you're a master artist? I'll tell you this alone, Yusuke. If you wish to succeed in this world, I'd advise you don't rise against me. Do you believe anyone could find success with my objection holding them down? <laughs> no. Fuck you, old man. Fuck you. Nobody talks to Matthew Mercer that way. To think I was under the care of this wretched man. You thought I took you in out of the goodness in my heart? Plucking talented yet troubled artists allows me to find promising pupils and take their ideas. After all, it's much easier to steal the futures of children who can't fight back. I can't believe this. Livestock are killed for their hide and meat. This is no different, you fool. But I tire of this little chat. It's time that I... You are unforgivable. Oh shit, here we fucking go, guys. Hmm? It doesn't matter who you are. I won't forgive you! So, you repay my keeping you around for all these years with ingratitude? You damn brat! Then, dispose of these thieves! Get back! Stay back! How oh, amusing. Huh? <laughs> oh, s It seems the truth is stranger than fiction, huh? Oh my god, this is gonna be fucking amazing. I wanted to believe it wasn't true. I had clouded my vision for so long. My eyes were truly blind. Blind and unable to see the true self behind this one horrible man. Here it comes. Is my hair a little bit used, Kate? Have you finally come to your senses? <laughs> How foolish that you averted your eyes from the truth. A deplorable imitation indeed. Best you part from that aspect of yourself. Let's see what your mask looks like. Let us now forge a contract. I am thou. Thou art oh, I. I. The world is filled with both beauty and vice. Ow! It is time you teach people which is which. Ooh! Very well. Come. Go, am on! Ooh! Go, am on! Oh, fuck yeah! Now that's a shogun! A breathtaking sight. Imitations they may be, but together they make a fine spectacle. Though the flowers of evil blossom, be it known, abominations are fated to perish. Oh yeah! Whoa, this is impressive. Oh, did he freeze him? He's ice. <sighs> Who do you think you are? The price for your insolence will be death. Where are my guards? Kill them all! Oh, here we go. Children who adored you as father. The prospects of your pupils. How many did you trample upon? How many dreams did you exchange for riches? No matter what it takes, I will bring you to justice. You got this, man. Better not run away. Let's see what you're made of. Let's see what you're made of. Very well. Bring it on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kick ass. Oh my god, my balls are tingling. Oh, it's, the, it's that dude. You are in the presence of Lord Marwame. On your knees, intruders. Oh, looks like we straight out Morgana for, for him. I learned much from you, Marwame. In order to see authenticity, one must be dispassionately realistic. Oh, that's so cool. He's got a fox tail, doesn't he? At first, I thought his mask was like a cat, but it's, it's a fox, isn't it? With Goemon by my side, I can now ascertain your true self without any reservations. Nice. 
because he's a stone cold fox. Oh, sweet! Oh my god. Kick ass! He's got a freaking sheathed like samurai sword. Oh my god! Dude, his outfit is awesome looking! Oh man, I'm fucking ready. Let's go. Yep, boo foo. And giant slice. Alright, time to lay down the pain. Do it! Yeah! I am thou. I am. Let's go. Goemon! Goemon! Damn, why didn't summon enemies that were all weak to eyes? Prepare yourself. Oh, it's up to you. Ow! Oh, I got afflicted with dizziness, damn it. Come! Fuck you! Oh, you've got to be shitting me. I'm dizzy! Don't give me some shit! Oh god, please don't kill me. Uh, who's next? Oh god, yes, definitely. Somebody heal me! I need Yakasabi Pound! Oh shit. Can I not heal myself? Oh, there we go. What? Why can't I use Ayakasabe Pot? That's weird. I can't. For some reason, I can't use that on myself, but I could use this other stuff. All right, let's use a life stone. Ow! Stop going after me! This is my other self. Get rid of him. There we are. All right. Giant slice. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. He's down on the ground. Why can't I uh all out all out attack him? Oh, cause I, I I'm dizzy, right? Do I have anything that cures dizzy? Oh, I do. I have a lurk capsule. Time for this. Oh, for fuck's sake! Stop it! Seriously, they're all attacking just me. No. No. It's his gun, anyway. Oh, sweet! He's got an SMG! <laughs> Kick ass! Persona. Oh my god, seriously? Seriously, they're just going straight after me! Just leave me alone! No. No. I still can't use it on myself. Headbutt! Alright, finish him! Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, you finish him, Yusuke! Oh, yeah! Ow! Damn, Yusuke, you hot as hell! That's what I'm talking about! Mm. Level up! Oh, Morgana leveled up too, even though she wasn't in the fight. Oh, probably because uh, we have that thing from uh, Mishima. So I guess all the experience carries over then? Even if you're not in the fight? That, that's kick-ass. Yeah, fox mask. Cool. You say you've just thrown your bright future down the drain. I'll destroy every chance you've ever had of becoming an artist. Fuck you. Matarame. You'll forever rue the day you dared defy me. Get back here. Kitagawa-kun! Why can't I move? Dude, his outfit. I don't know. I think out of all of them so far, I think he, his might be one, like one of my favorites. It'll be really cool. Listen, you're totally drained. You can't do much even if you wanted to. What a disgrace I am. Are you kidding me? You just kicked monkey ass. Come on, just listen to her. We've all done this shit, man. You've known for quite some time, haven't you? Want me to get you a soda? There's a vending machine over there. It probably tastes like shit, but you know, Monorame's Palace Pop. Wait a minute, this is just Coca-Cola. God damn it, Monorame, is your plagiarism no no bounds? I'm no fool. Strange people have been coming by for years. And the plagiarism was an everyday affair. But who would want to admit that the man they owed their life to was doing such terrible things? Why didn't you leave, Kitagawa-kun? Well, he is the one who painted the Sayori. On top of that, I owe him a great debt. Supposedly. You mean because he raised you? I never knew my father. I'm actually betting that's uh, 
his treasure is probably the Siuri painting, isn't it? Because that's what he bases, I think, all of his popularity on, was that. I was told my mother raised me by herself, but she died in an accident when I was three. That's when Sensei took me in. I heard he helped my mother while she was still alive. Heard? To be honest, I don't remember much about my mother either. I did everything I could for Sensei. I thought of him as a father. But he changed. To think he would treat the Sayori, the very foundation of his art, like that. A lot's happened to you, huh? When you had mentioned plagiarism, deep down, I knew you were right. Well, maybe it is that he did paint that then. Oh, because it does seem like there is a, you know, if we're sort of going off like how Kamashita was as well, a sort of a running theme that these guys weren't like born evil. They just became totally twisted over time, getting like drunk off the power they acquired. That's why I so vehemently denied you. I was simply running from the truth. I'm sorry. It's all right, man. We're, we're pros now. I understand. I'm grateful for the chance to face what I have been denying all this time. I like how he hasn't asked, he hasn't asked one single question about wearing that, that mask and everything. You're way too serious, man. That's why you're always getting stuck in your own head. Look at me. I just go with the flow. Yep, usually doesn't think about shit. For real. Mm. What are you going to do now? I don't know. We can't help the fact that Madarame's gone and changed. Join us. But we can change his heart. We'll make him pay for his crimes. That reminds me. You mentioned something about that change of heart earlier. Have you heard the rumors? The ones about the phantom thieves that steal hearts? <laughs> Don't tell me. Yep, in the flesh, baby. Yeah! Oh, hey. Booger, oh, oh, hey, wow. Wow, you, wait, you guys are telling me we could have been teleporting around this palace all we wanted? What the fuck have we been doing? Why are we chasing after them? We can just jump right in front of them. God, we're stupid. Oh, hey, look, they're right there. We'll talk later. We need to scram. When did my clothes change? <laughs> you just noticed that now? <laughs> Man, you really are oblivious. I love that little foxtail thing that's like attached to his belt. That's so, that's so cool. Save it for after. Let's go. You can bet just somebody on Etsy is, uh, is already selling like official, uh, uh, well, non-official foxtail Yusuke things. Ah, uh, now I'm gonna start picking though who who stays in my party. Oh, it's gonna be tough. I don't know. I don't know who I'd want to drop. I see. I think I do want him in my party though. I don't know. I liked his outfit and he was cool. <laughs> And because of that, this PE teacher's had a change of heart. Phantom thieves who steal hearts. To think they truly exist. Right in front of you. Indeed. I have to believe your words. Especially after seeing a world like that. So, your plan with Madarame, Sensei. We're gonna fuck him up. With Madarame, is to force a change of heart, correct? Let me join, as a member of the Phantom Thieves. Really, we're shocked by that? I faced reality sooner, this may have been avoided. I must put an end to this, for the sake of the others whose futures as artists were robbed as well. That is the most civil thing I can do for the man who was, in some manner, my father. Civil, huh? Sounds fine to me. We're gonna deal with Madarame anyways. He may have a mental shutdown if we screw up. We have ways to prevent that, but they aren't fail-safe. Remember how we mentioned this on our way here? Madarame is a man who has the art world under his thumb. He has connections to many organizations. If someone like me raises my voice, it'll only be snubbed out. We have no option but this. Chitago akun It's a deal, then. We have a new member in the Phantom Thieves now. Cool. I hope we get along, Yusuke. You better not slow us down. I love I'll you. Do my best. 
Welcome aboard. Just don't betray us. Oh, and no nude paintings. <laughs> uh, so that was all a plan. Oh, that's quite daring, Takamaki-san. <laughs> it wasn't my idea. It was theirs. Yeah, we're just a horny, bunch of horny ass dudes. What else were we supposed to do? It's his fault for going on and on about the nude modeling thing. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't given up on that yet, though. Uh, yeah. Give it up. Oh, no. That reminds me. I wonder what's going on with the real Matarame. Yusuke and I were in a pretty tight situation. Actually, I contacted him before we came here. He believes that I continued pursuing Takamaki-san. And, just as you all explained, it appears he knows nothing about his shadow. What did he say? Hey, he said he was gonna call the police on us. He was complaining to the security company how they couldn't even catch one high school girl. However, he's still furious about it, and said that he's going to take legal action against everyone. <laughs> and this many days! Talk about being completely on guard! Legal action? He's acting way too desperate. Maybe he still has more secrets. If he were to act, it'd be after the exhibit is over. Any scandal during the show would be his loss. Ah, of course. <laughs> How very convenient. Right when I think the talk about being a nude model is over, this happens? We'll have to force a change of heart before then if we're to dodge this legal action thing. Looks like our plan must be accomplished while the exhibit is still open. By the way, what is this? Huh? A cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's our Luna. But it's talking. Yeah, don't worry, get used to it fast. You have a problem with that? No, not really. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Makes about as much sense as anything else going on here. He's just on a different wavelength than other people. Do you wish to draw <laughs> me? You better bring out the best of me in that case. <laughs> yes, draw me! You scared him. <laughs> Goofy ass music comes out. Da, 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 da. Hmm. Ah. Hey, don't touch me like. I was thinking of ordering some black bean jelly. I bet he got that idea from a black cat. Oh! Ah. I didn't bring any money. Never mind. He's just weird. <laughs> Sorry, man. Oh, dude, you just keep being funny, funny guy. I'll pay for anything you want. I don't give a shit. Oh, man, this is gonna be awesome. I think I want him at a party. He's, he's too cool. He's too funny. Hey. Hey, hope you aren't, aren't up to no good. Maybe. Don't forget you're still under probation. Got that? One misstep and you're finished. No, no good? No, no, no. What's wrong about changing the hearts of criminals? We're doing the right thing. I know. Why don't you get that, Daddy? Legal action? Ah, this ain't funny. Sounds problematic. If police hear about this, they'll totally get in touch with the school. We could expel for sure this time. <laughs> God, it's always with us getting expelled. School would be the best, the least of our worries. We'll end up arrested. Unlawful entry? Defamation? Guess that means we really can't afford to F it up this time. Yeah, from here on out is what really matters. Let's let's do it. Hey, we just need to change his heart before he presses charges. Try to focus on that problem for now. All right. And if you must not want to hurt them, you committed bodily harm. Now consider these two cases. Oh, unconsenting cu cutting of hair, using noise to cause distress. Which of the two would be considered a case of bodily harm? You be the judge. Uh, I would probably say noise because noise can't actually like cause bodily like pain and cu cutting the hair won't really I mean I guess it is the body though um, let's see noise that's the answer is B oh okay yes if you drive someone crazy with noise that's bodily harm if it disrupts the body's functions it counts as bodily harm even if there's no physical contact hair grows back so it doesn't count as a wound that'd be a case of assault not bodily harm you gotta write him impress by how much you know about law all right cool yeah give me some of that knowledge all right. All right. Do you see that, Daddy? Are you proud of me yet? Shut up. I'm gonna take a kid like this. I must be getting old. Oh, I'm so sick of this shit. I hope he fucking dies. I love you too, Daddy. Bye-bye. Oh, I haven't established a confidant with him yet, though. 
So I'll do that tomorrow or something. Let's see. What's he got? Katana. A weapon manifests from an awakened power. It's already pretty damn strong. Hell, stronger than the one I got. What the hell? Can I trade? A replica AR. Shit. That's strong too. Assault rifle manifests from an awakened power. Silver key ring. What does that do? Does it do anything? A classic key ring with coat in silver. Nope. Outlaws attire. Oh, good. And you got your own Shadow Ops uniform. Cool. Let's have a look at his persona. Oh, he's, he's level 15 too. Damn. <laughs> Look at his face brace. Oh, such peasants dare stand up to me. Blue hair Edgeworth. Oh, damn. Look at this guy. Is that a pipe he's got? Oh, it is, isn't it? God, he looks like... It's like one of those crazy Japanese anime thing that, like... I don't know. I guess does, does JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, do they do kind of stuff like this? I think they do, right? I, I really don't know anything about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Does it say Persona 5 on the... No, it says, like, Lex... Kava or something. Five. He gets vicious strike. Medium physical damage to all foes. Ooh, yeah. That's more like it. Oh, he's like a kanji teddy, right? Teddy had the ice in the last game. I think, right? Yeah. Hey, what do you, what do you guys get next? Level three. Lockdown. Allows you to leave a persona to learn an attribute resistance. Oh. Okay. Like, leave it in their hands and then come back and get it later? What arcana is he? The emperor. Of course. Oh, I see. Now I can choose who's in my party. Wait. I got all of you in my party? Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't know who I want to get rid of, though. My gut is telling me on. Just because Morgana's got Medea, you know? I don't know. That's a tough one. Wonder, does that mean I can just easily switch them out, though? Like, I don't have to go, like, to a save point or whatever? Well, I guess we'll find hey. out. All right. Let's go to bed. <laughs> I'm so depressed. He says loudly to himself. Man, I'm so depressed. Fuck. Shut up. Nobody cares. I don't want to go to work today. Hey, you still work at that beef bowl at the, on Central Street? Oh, I work there too. Thought you liked that place because the pay was good. What happened? Sure, the pay's fine, but I'm the only one there at night. Nobody else works there or teaches me to do anything. Manager doesn't give a shit. John Maxey said it was a fun, friendly workplace. I should just quit. <sighs> he says work can be pretty tired trying, but it's a worthwhile experience. Don't give up. Whatever. I'm not the one having to do shit. Lunch time. Oh, good. Can I actually? Oh, the grades. I wonder if I get to invite people to lunch like I did in the other games. Oh, our grades are out. Okay. How'd I do? How'd you do? D Damn, I'm dead. I'm so fucking dead. Who? I'm above average. That's the real dividing line. My allowance is safe for now. What score I got? I fished a little higher than a than the average score. Mm, well, it should send a good example for your friends. Oh, okay, good. Hey, all right. Oh, my charm. Okay, cool. All right. All right. And improve my social links too? No? Maybe I only get that if I like max it out. I remember the other games. That's was another one of the perks. So yeah, my, my my knowledge would be like level three for to for me to uh, get the best score or whatever. Whatever, don't care. We start finding Yusuke to hide out themes now. Fight it over until the exhibit ends. Keep your head in the game. All right. Uh, Wanna go to the palace? I'll leave it to you to get everyone once you decide when to meet up. And we go to the palace today. Oh, all right, he wants to go to the palace too. I thought he wanted to hang out and do shit. Seems like the hangout with hangouts with confidants is like random this time. Besides, I'll you know like I won't be able to hang out. I can't hang out with Ryuji right now. I don't think. Can I? Oh, oh, I can hang out with Ryuji. Okay. okay now first, uh, oh, today's Friday. Yakasabe Pond. It's Yakasabe Pond Day. Yes, I did it. Woo! Okay, let's go sell some stuff to uh, Iwai. You again? Are you gonna try and sell me something weird again? <laughs> Yep. That modified gun should be a powerful weapon to use during palace battles. Let's ask him about what's, what's inside the back. Don't freak out, Nico. Just ask him. Could ask him if I had... Oh, Dauntless Guts. Oh, damn. All right. I need more guts before I can even hang out with Come him. Come on. Should we not? <laughs> no, I'm still a pussy. Are you going to buy something? Okay. Yes, I'm going to sell you more weird shit. Oh, I can actually just say sell all treasure. I didn't realize that. Cool. All right. 
You should be grateful. You should be grateful. Get down and kiss my feet. Yeah, but you got some new stuff. Dagger used during Wiccan, Wiccan rituals? Igniter. Ooh, dagger forged in fire. Damn, I can already get some better shit for him, too. Damn, you are diesel's hell, man. All right, let's get the... You better not use it to pull a prank. Okay, Ryuji's like my heavy, my real heavy hitter too, so I really need to get him some good shit. Cosmic undies makes the world feel like feel at one with the cosmos. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna get Morgana e collar pet cone designed to help heal wounds. Cause magic plus four, fuck yeah. And also, uh, really good at yeah. He, he needs a lot more defense. And that's all I got for it. If you're done, go home. See no place for kids to be hanging around. Like, if you just, like, forget about that bag I took from him? I guess so. Oh, my late fee will be 2,100 yen. Fuck me. Oh, man. Oh, first time. Oh, okay. Fuck that, then. All right, well, okay. In that case, I'm going to hold it indefinitely until I get it fucking done. Damn, that's expensive, though. I knew it'd been a while. Maybe more God would let me fucking do shit at night. All right, let's go to the, let's go to the palace. Hell yeah, man. Come on. Let's meet the hideout. Okay, we still need to explain the basics to you, don't we? Oh, you mean about the metaverse and the nav? Yeah, I guess that stuff is pretty important. Also, I gotta get your contact info. Well, please elaborate. Okay. Okay, let's start from the now. beginning. First, the metaverse spots where we act as fainted thieves are called palaces. Palaces are worlds that take form from someone's cognition, materialization of their reality. So, do we each hold palaces within ourselves as well? No. No, not just anyone will have... Primarily those with dis strong, distorted desires. They basically gotta be criminals. Real bastards like Kamashita or Matarame. On the other hand, palaces can't exist within Persona users. It's just impossible for them to form. Basically, your Persona is the true feelings of your heart, which arise from conquering your inner shadow. Then, since you have full control of your emotions, there's no way your desires can get distorted. So that's how it works. Uh, obviously, I knew that. Right? <laughs> Oh, yeah, right? Oh, yeah, we use the Metaverse Nav app on our phones to get into that world. It's actually pretty simple. Just say a person's name, location, and distortion, and then you're in. What do you mean? Lo location? Um... Uh, so, like, Matarame's would be a, a shack, then his distortion is that he thinks it's a museum. Hold a moment. How do you know what their palace is going to look like if you've never set foot in it before? That's kind of like a quiz or something. It's probably going to get tricky from here on out, too. I see. Hmm. I feel as though I have a good grasp on the basic concepts. If anything arises which I fail to understand, I'll rely on I'll rely on those more experienced than myself. Yeah! Yeah, I got you covered, newbie. <laughs> uh, you should probably ask Morgana if you need anything. Well, then. <laughs> Thinking about back to Monorame, though, I can't believe he'd consider pressing charges. Yes, I've never seen him show such anger before. He's most likely ser quite serious about that. <sighs> so what should we do? There's no way we'll be able to win if that happens. He likely won't act on the threat until the final day of the exhibit, June 5th. Simply put, I doubt he would be so foolish as to taint his name with a trial during his ex exhibition. All right, so we just gotta steal Matarame's heart by then. Let's take him down. There's no way we're gonna let him press charges. We'll show people who he really is. That's right, I'm gonna kick him in the nuggets. Okay, let's go. All right, in we go. Oh yeah, we haven't decided on the new recruit's code name yet. Fox, totally gonna be Fox. It has to be Kitsune, you know, with that Kitsune mask and everything. Oh, that too, it was a Kitsune. Hell yeah, that really leaves an impression. Are yeah. you talking about me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just hot. What do you want your name over here to be? I'd say Da Vinci. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> well, you've got that mask like on said, and there's that weird tail. All right, you're Aburage. <laughs> Very well. He's agreed to it? What? Well, okay. Seriously? God damn, can we just keep this shit simple? It's decided then. Aburage. Nuh uh, not happening. Uh, Do you have any ideas, Joker? <laughs> Clown! Okay, yes, Fox! Oh, 
don't you just keep a literal, huh? Sounds good to me. Yes, okay, good. I was about to say, like, what the fuck is this shit? What do we come up with? What do you think, Fox? It's acceptable. It's set then. Let's go. All right. Listen up. By the way, we should have Joker decide who our starting lineup is from here on out. Starting lineup? You mean the ones who'll be going in first? Yeah, now that Fox has joined us, it'll be harder to move around as a group. State will stand out more, too. Considering how we've operated to this point, we should have four starters. And else, anyone else can be backup. Mm -hmm. And I guess we gotta always have our leader with us, right? It's damn right, this is my game! Exactly, that's why we'll have Joker choose the remaining three. And what should the backup do? Would it be best for them to stay outside of the palace? No, they should come in as well, but maintain a reasonable distance from the main group. In other words, the starting lineup is the first wave of our infiltration force. But we'll leave the team in composition to you, Joker. Party organization. Change party members. Speak with your teammates at the palace entrance. You can also press triangle and select stats from the main menu. Oh, okay. I'm going in alone. See you guys. I'm ready when you ever you need me. Put me in, coach. All right, bud. Yeah. Okay, count on me. Got it. What's up? We want the starting lineup. Sounds good to me. Now's All right, let's go. Shine. All right, buddy. Come on, newbie. May I get a word in? Please allow me to join the Vanguard Joker. I will not disappoint you, I promise. I believe. Sorry to cause you trouble. Thank you. We will change Monorami's heart, no matter what. Uh, I feel bad, kind of, kind of bad for just leaving Anno here by herself. <laughs> well, I guess she'll be following behind us. All right, to the Central Garden. What is it, Bernie? What is it? Your bag. Your bag is... Guarding the alligator. I can't get him. It's too scary, Nico. I know that bag does look pretty suspicious. Oh, well, look, I let him beat me, though. I'm just over here recovering by the AC vent. You gonna go get the gator? Wait a second. Hold on. Thinking up a strategy. Come on, come on. Here we go. I'll show you to see there's nothing wrong with it. No, no. No, Nico, please. Please, I don't want to do it. I don't want to go near the bag, no. See? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know, sometimes if I just kind of bring her towards something that she's kind of freaked out about, usually it's, it usually kind of works, and sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> it's fine. That toy's lost forever. I'm just going to get another toy. <laughs> okay, okay. 